Now, in order to do this next part, we've got to let t get larger. As the study progresses over a period of time, the time is going to get larger. So what happens to this term here, e to the minus a third t? Well, to appreciate this, you've got to think of your exponential graph of, let's say, y equals e to the minus a third t. Now this is a negative exponential graph and graphs like that look something like this. They come down and they tend towards this axis. Never reaching zero though. So we can see that as t gets larger, we can just say here as t tends to infinity, the term e to the minus a third t tends to zero. So therefore that means that p is going to tend towards 5 divided by and what's going to happen here is this is never going to be zero this term here 4 times this very small number that we're going to get as t gets larger is going to be tending towards zero but never reaching zero and if you add that to the one you're going to get 1.000 and so on a number just slightly more than one so that means that if you divide five by a number just slightly bigger than one you're going to get something like 4.99999 and so on so therefore what happens is p tends to five but what we call from below. Never above 5, but just slightly smaller than 5. So since p is measured in thousands, then we've got that therefore the population of meerkats, okay, never can exceed 5,000. So if we just summarize that, it never exceeds 5,000. Alright, so I would lay the problem out something like that. I don't think you necessarily have to draw a graph, but that's, that's up to you. But that's how I certainly would think that problem through.